Good morning. Thank you very much for the opportunity. I'd like to share with you two innovative technologies that Ivina is developing, which will transform eye care outcomes for patients and convenience for physicians. Today, I'll update you on the pilot clinical trial on our implant, which will enable drop-free cataract surgery and has potential to prevent retinal thickening after phaco emulsification, as well as the exciting preclinical data on our second product, which will be the first eye drop for keratoconus without UV light or surgery. From a corporate perspective, we've raised about 4.7 million, about a third each from ophthalmologists, angel investors, NIH and NSF, and other federal grants, to each of whom we are grateful. So first, to address the immense and growing cataract market, patients currently use multiple eye drops on deferring schedules for deferring periods of time, including an NSAID and a steroid. This seems redundant, as steroids should do everything NSAIDs do, but it is necessary because topical steroids don't reach the retina. IVMED 10, our first product, solves this by the placement and delivery of dexamethasone from a bioerodible implant placed in the lens capsule right after cataract removal. By virtue of its location, it bypasses cornea and iris barriers so as to be able to treat both the front and the back of the eye. We performed our first clinical trial last fall in Codet Institute uh, in Mexico. Uh, Dr. Arturo Chayet, a noted cataract surgery, performed all the uh, surgeries. Visual results were excellent, and there were no events of persistent edema, pressure rise, or IOL opacification. One implant did need to be removed following dislodgement due to a protocol deviation, but even that patient did well. This is a video of an implantation. The nucleus and cortex have been removed. The implant is then placed through the main wound and then tucked into the temporal capsular fornix underneath the anterior capsule. Surgeon will verify its location, and then the IOL is placed as per routine and the surgery completed. As you can see, it's very easy to insert and adds only a few seconds to the procedure. Post-op images show quiet eyes and uh, clear lenses at all time points. The cornea stay clear. At week five, you can see a dissolving residuum at the far temporal periphery, but that dissolves over the subsequent uh, few weeks. Inflammation scores are quiet at all time points while corneal thickness and endothelial cell counts behave as expected after phaco emulsification. Importantly, retinal thickness was unchanged from baseline to week five, which is the peak uh, incidence for CME. When we compare this finding to literature, what we observe is that IV Med 10 treated eyes behave very similarly to eyes that receive both topical steroid and NSAID with far less thickening than eyes that receive only topical steroid. This lends support to our idea that placement of this dexamethasone implant inside the bag can replace both the steroid and the NSAID. Together with intracameral antibiotics, this will enable a drop-free cataract surgery experience. Next, I'd like to update you on our progress with IV Med 80, which will be the first eye drop for keratoconus without surgery. As you know, keratoconus is a disease that leads to weakening of the cornea, causing bulging of the cornea and visual loss. We've received FDA orphan designation for our drug, and it has potential applications in larger markets, such as prophylaxis of post-LASIK ectasia and pediatric myopia. IVMED80 works by enhancing the activity of lysyl oxidase, the cross-linking enzyme that is deficient in patients with keratoconus and increasing its activity back to above normal levels. In rabbits, this leads to improved rabbit corneal biomechanics, comparable to what is observed with UV crosslinking in rabbits, and then to flattening of 1.5 to 1.8 diopters after just one month of therapy 
in, in, and that's with any of three different dosing regimens. This is similar to what's observed at one year after UV crosslinking. So in summary, we've shown the value of IV Med 10 to potentially replace topical steroids and NSAIDs after cataract surgery, as well as IV Med 80, an innovative pharmacologic approach for keratoconus. We're currently raising Series A funding for larger trials slated for later this year. And with that, I'd like to thank our experienced CEO, Jerry Simmons, our uh, vice president, who's very talented, Mike Burr, and the rest of our management team. Thank you very much. Thank you.